Wondering how to create an IP address filter in Google Analytics? Well, in this video, I'll show you how to use an IP address filter to exclude internal traffic from Google Analytics. And I'll show you a much easier alternative if you're a WordPress user. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to filter out traffic from certain IP addresses, but the most common is to filter out internal traffic from your own home or office. That's because you don't want your visits to count as traffic when it comes to Google Analytics. If you don't exclude those internal IP addresses in your Google Analytics reports, well, it can skew the data about your real visitors. But now, the good news is that you can set up an IP address filter in Google Analytics, but there's a catch. There are two types of IP addresses, static and dynamic. A static IP address is an IP address that's been manually configured for a device, and it doesn't change. Often, network providers will charge an additional monthly fee for static IP addresses. Now, on the other hand, a dynamic IP address is a temporary address that a network assigns to a device when it connects to the Internet, and so it changes over time. So why is that so important? Well, when it comes to creating an IP address filter, IP address filters are only applicable if you're using a static IP address. That's one that doesn't change. Now, that means that even if you exclude an IP address, it will eventually change in Google Analytics, and you'll start being tracked all over again. And if you connect to your site using another wireless network, let's say at a coffee shop, a static IP address filter wouldn't work because you're using a whole different network. So your activity will still be tracked, and that's going to show up in your analytics reports. So is there a simpler way of excluding your internal traffic? Well, thankfully, if you're using WordPress, there definitely is. Now, if you're not using WordPress, you can still filter your IP address. Just skip to the Google Analytics IP filtering instructions a little later in this video. If you're a WordPress user, the easiest way to filter out your own business from being tracked is with Monster Insights. Monster Insights allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics. That way you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. Plus, with a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features like event tracking and e-commerce tracking. Plus, you can easily track forms and custom dimensions, outbound links, media, and a whole lot more. With Monster Insights, you can easily filter out your own business from being tracked when you're logged into your site. All you have to do is specify the user roles that you'd like to stop Google from tracking. Then whenever you or someone else is logged into your site, they'll be excluded from Google Analytics tracking and it won't show up in the reports. This method is far more reliable since it doesn't rely on IP addresses. So even if your IP address changes for some reason or you're connected to another network, you don't have to worry about being tracked in Google. So to filter out user roles from being tracked, you'll first need to download and install Monster Insights. To access tons of awesome features, just make sure to grab Monster Insights Pro or to get started with tracking your most important metrics and excluding user roles from being tracked for free, just check out how you can get a forever free trial. After you've installed and connected Monster Insights to Google Analytics, just go to your WordPress admin area, then navigate to Insights, and then to Settings. Now click on the Advanced tab. Then go down to Permissions, and then specify the roles that you'd like to stop tracking under the Exclude These User Roles from Tracking. Once you're done, just click Save Changes. Now those user roles won't be tracked by Google Analytics. To create an IP address filter, you'll need to know the public IP address that you're using. Now, the easiest way to find that address is just by searching, what is my IP address in Google? First, log into your Google Analytics account. Then click Admin in the left taskbar. In the property column, click Data Streams. Then click into the data stream, and then scroll down and click on Configure Tag Settings. On the next screen, scroll down and click Show All. Now click Define Internal Traffic. Next, you'll want to create your internal traffic rule. Now to do that, just click the blue Create button. Then give your rule a name, like Main Office. You'll see in the drop-down below where you'll have several options for calling out your IP address or a range of them. When you have it set the way that you'd like, Click the blue Create button. All right, now that your rule's created, you'll have to tell Google Analytics to exclude traffic using that rule. So to do that, head back to the main admin area and click on Data Settings and then Data Filters. 
on the next screen, you'll see a filter that was automatically created for you when you created your internal traffic rule. Let's keep in mind that it's in testing mode, so it's not excluding your internal traffic yet. So to change that, just click on the arrow, then scroll down and click the active radio button. Once active is selected, just make sure to click save. Now you've successfully created a filter to prevent internal traffic from contributing to your Google Analytics data. So there you have it, just a few steps. Now you know how to create an IP address filter in Google Analytics. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use us. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.